Right, so if we come over here, you can see we have my baby branch from Hatchery. Go ahead and take one teaspoon of this. You can see all that orange liquid there. That's just the liquid gold that we're looking for. Look how orange it is. Sort of darting around there. Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking all about how to hatch baby brine shrimp. And in specific, we're gonna be talking about the easiest way to do this. So this is a very, very easy process and I highly recommend every single person who ever wants to breed fish or even have a lot of success keeping them needs to learn how to do this because baby brine shrimp is a fantastic food to feed to a ton of different fish. So I feed this to all my newborn fry I feed this to even juveniles and I also feed it to adult fish. It's full of protein, about 70% protein. It makes the fish grow quick. Because it's got that live jerking motion in the water, it also makes the fish really have a good appetite for it. So if you get some new fish that don't want to eat, give them baby brine shrimp and I like, promise you they will not be able to resist it. So it's really good because of that. Another thing that's really good about it too is it's a saltwater organism. What that means is that it can't bring pathogens over to the fresh water into your fish, that's another really good benefit. So let's talk about hatching this stuff out. All right, so if we come over here, you can see we have my baby branch from hatchery. This might look a little bit confusing. Beginners, please don't click away yet because this is still very, very easy to do. Simply what these are, are just water bottles that I've set up. They're hanging and the reason they're hanging is because it makes less noise. You don't need to do this, but each of these is a baby branch from hatchery. So. Each day I hatch out baby brine shrimp and I feed it twice a day. So I'm hatching out baby brine shrimp on a daily basis, twice a day, so two times a day. What I normally have is three of these, so I've actually got one of these that I've taken down so we can set it up today. What we're going to be doing is setting this one up and I'll show you guys how to set up baby brine shrimp. And then tomorrow we're going to harvest this one, not this one, maybe this one because it'll be the afternoon. And we'll feed it to a bunch of fish and you'll see exactly like how much the fish like this stuff. What you're gonna to need to hatch these guys out is some kind of container. Now, what I've done here, you don't need to do, and I'll show you guys exactly after this, like what to do, but this is what I'd recommend, is get a water bottle and just cut the top off it and you get this beautiful conical shape. I think that's a word, conical. Like a cone shape. What the cone shape does is when you turn off your baby branch from hatchery, all the baby branch will go down to the bottom here and you can just harvest them out. So. What this is, I'm not gonna show you exactly how to create this because by looking at it, you should be able to do it. It's simply a water bottle. I've just taken like a pair of scissors and cut the top off. I bought this on eBay. What these are are bottle caps with a double end. So I don't know if you can see that there, but we've got one outlet here for our baby branch shrimp and one outlet here for our air pump. So that's another thing you'll need is an air pump. Now this is a little bit cloudy and that's because every day I hatch out baby branch shrimp and I don't bother cleaning it, it doesn't make a difference. Some people would clean it, but I don't bother. What we have here is just some hobby wire. I've just literally cut this with scissors as well. And I just hang it on my hobby hooks up there. And I've also drilled the sides here just to hold it. That's basically it. You can see here I've got a little thing that you can just get from a hardware store in the plumbing aisle. This is just a valve to turn it on and off. Oops. And you don't need this. I have this because firstly, I pump my air into the bottom here. So I have air coming up and tumbling this. So you need these to tumble to get a good hatch rate. And it just works really well for me. This cost me about $3. You're gonna see so many videos on YouTube talking about getting certain tumblers and certain products to hatch baby brine shrimp. If you want them, go ahead. I guess they look kind of good, but in my opinion, they're just a massive waste of money. You don't need them. I've used this for nearly a year and a half. Works fantastic cost me like five bucks and I got to drink a soda out of it. So that was really good. But if you want to hatch baby brine shrimp and you don't have an air system like I do and you don't want to do that, simply get like a water bottle like this. This is a 600 ml water bottle, like for a protein shaker. I'll show you guys an air pump after this, but actually no, I'll just flash up a photo of an air pump. Buy an air pump, they're like 15 bucks. Get an air pump, an air stone, just put the air stone down the bottom and add your mixture. I'll show you guys how to make the mixture. Add it to this container with the air pump down the bottom. Tumble it for 24 hours to 36 hours at 26 to 27 degrees, and you'll have the exact same hatch rate. So I'll show you guys when it's hatched tomorrow what to do, but it's really, really simple. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so we're now in my other garage, and the audio is gonna be different because there's no air pump in here. But anyways, what I've done is I've gone ahead and filled this up with some water. Now this is just tap water. 
I don't bother dechlorinating it. You don't need to do that at all. I think this would be about 600 mils, probably 500 mils of liquid, would you say? Maybe a litre? Not much more, it doesn't matter. What we're gonna do is take, yeah, 500, 600 mils, and what you're gonna need is some salt and obviously some brine shrimp eggs. Now, I get asked a lot, what kind of brine shrimp eggs do I use? And I don't use any specific brand. Try and find something with a good hatch rate. Don't pay through the nose for brown shrimp eggs. It's really not worth it. This is the brand I'm using at the moment. Do I have an opinion on them? No, like they're not fantastic. They're not bad. They're just brown shrimp eggs. Get a can of them. It's probably gonna cost you about $50 to get brown shrimp eggs, but it's totally worth it. They'll last you for ages. This can cost me 150 Australian dollars. And that's because this is gonna feed like a whole fish room for a month. So, Branch and pegs, and then for salt, you don't need any special salt. Get just literally just table salt. I like to use pool salt, and the reason I use pool salt is just because I can buy a bag of this for $7, and it's like so cheap, lasts me for ages, and it's just salt. What I'll do is, this is the ratio that I use. This is just a Baskin Robbins spoon. You can see there's a bit of branch and eggs caked onto it, whatever. This is just a teaspoon. What I'll do is four teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of baby brown shrimp eggs. So you'll see, that's a teaspoon. One, two, three, four, done. Then what I'll do is come over here, go ahead and take one teaspoon of this. I'm actually gonna do two because they have a lot of fry. Two teaspoons, put this back in the fridge. And now that's ready to go. So we'll go take this back to the fish room and link it up. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our little hook here. So what I'm gonna do is I'd highly recommend you guys try and make something like this if you wanna do a lot of breeding, but hook it up there. So now it's hanging. And if you don't do this, you'll find out the hard way. But now when it's tumbling, I'll plug it into that, my air system there. So you can see it's tumbling away now and all that salt's mixing in with the baby brine shrimp and making a nice brown mix, or gray mix. I'm colorblind, so I have a little bit of trouble seeing it. Basically, what you'll find out is if you don't hang it, it's gonna make a ton of rumbling. Like, it just makes tons of noise and it's super annoying. I did it at home, it annoyed my mum so much. But hanging it up, all you get is that like bubbling noise and that's actually kind of like a nice noise, so I don't mind. But what we're gonna do is leave that for 36 hours and then it'll be ready. Like I said, this one's not gonna be ready by the next time we record. I'm probably gonna pull eggs out of this one. Basically, you're learning anyway how to do this. If you didn't have this system, like I was saying, all I would do is get a water bottle or a container, put an air stone down the bottom, and turn on the air and let it tumble, but that's it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when we harvest them. Okay, so it's now the next day, and like I said, we're gonna be harvesting some baby brine shrimp today. So I know we set this one up yesterday here, I harvested out of this one this morning, and it's now the afternoon, so we're gonna be harvesting out of this one. So, to harvest, it's super easy. You'll leave it for 24 to 36 hours. I'd highly recommend leaving it for 36 hours. But we're gonna come up here. I'm just gonna unplug this air. I just put it up here. And then we're gonna have all the baby brine shrimp start settling down the bottom here. They're all gonna come down here and settle down here. So we'll wait, like it'll probably take a minute, and then yeah, they'll settle down there. Another thing you can do is, these guys are actually attracted to light, which is really weird. So, if you come and have a look here, you can see they're all down the bottom here, but if you want to attract them to a certain spot of your container, you can just literally use like a flashlight, and what's going to happen is you're going to see they're all going to be attracted to the light. So, you can see all that orange liquid there, that's just the liquid gold that we're looking for. We can start harvesting them out in a sec when they settle down the bottom. What I like to do is just leave the torch there and they'll settle down even more. Okay, so now we'll go ahead, it's been a couple of minutes and we'll go and harvest. So you'll see all this liquid, there it is. The liquid gold. Look how orange it is. So there's just thousands of these little baby brine shrimp coming in here. It's still going. Cut it there. So you can see here, we've just harvested them all out. We'll put them here and you can have a real good look now. Look at all those tiny baby brine shrimp. So you can see there are some shells in there, those little like dots, but that's not a problem at all. The fish will just eat them and pass them. A lot of people will like wash their baby brine shrimp, like Dean's Fish Room will do that and other people like that. 
I don't really bother. I, maybe I'm lazy, but these have never impacted my fish and I've found them to be a problem. So that's the baby brine shroom. We'll go ahead and we'll feed it to some fish in the fish room. Okay, so to start off with, we'll feed it to these very hungry blue-black rams. So you can see in here, there's just so many in here, probably about 200. You can see there's little dark nights and there's little blue ones in there. So what I do to feed this is I literally just grab like this pipette, feed it with the salt water. The salt water doesn't make a difference and then they'll eat it. So here it comes and you'll see they all start darting around. Probably give them five or six of these. Look at them. Sort of darting around there. And it'll spread throughout the water and then they'll all get to eat. Cool. And then the other ones I wanted to feed are down here. These guys are going to be a little bit harder to see. You can see them all kind of down there. These are some blue black crossed with gold rams. They're going to be a little less active when eating, but I'll go ahead and squirt some of this near them. So I've got a little squirt there. Grab another one there. Let's feed it to them. I also have some more little tiny gold rams in here. You can actually see them all along the glass. So they're so tiny. Go ahead and just squirt that near them. So you can see this is super easy to do. I'll go ahead and I'll feed the whole room, but you get the basic idea of it. So I like to feed it to freshly born ones like the ones up here and then like medium ones and you know small fish. I even feed it to big fish, they still like it, but hopefully you guys learned something from this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.